And McCain just got exactly what he deserves. Arizona Senator John McCain has spent the past year betraying the Republican Party by making it as hard as possible for President Donald Trump to get things done. This week, McCain launched his latest plan against the president when he threatened Trump's defense nominees over the Army's plan to offer mental health waivers. Business Insider reported that McCain spoke out on Tuesday to say that the Senate Armed Services Committee could delay Trump's nominee for defense positions because of dissatisfaction with the Army's announcement of a plan to offer waivers for recruits with histories of some mental health conditions. This comes after it was reported that the Army had lifted a ban on mental health waivers and will allow people with histories of self-mutilation, bipolar disorder, depression, and drug and alcohol abuse to request them. McCain expressed his disdain for this policy change during a confirmation hearing for three nominees on Tuesday. It's a problem we've been having with this administration, McCain said, according to Military Times. We should have been told about this before it showed up in a USA Today article. The Army did not respond to a question of how many waivers, if any, have been issued since the policy was changed. McCain, who was already held, uh, who has already held up the nomination process several times this year, went on to say that it seemed to him that the only way to get the Pentagon to provide information was to force defense officials to testify in open hearings or stop confirming nominees. Unfortunately for McCain, however, Twitter users may uh, uses have made it clear that they are sick of seeing him attack Trump. Uh, at Lou Dobbs, McCain setting up to kill tax cuts and shaft all of us just to stop Trump and the rest of the establishment rhinos you can lose every election by your posturing and grandstanding and it won't hurt trump either way his agenda doesn't get passed uh so what's the difference it only hurts gop i'm it sickens me when someone refers to john mccain as an american hero he joined with Hillary, Podesta, and O's, Obama's meaning corrupt FBI to try and steal the election from the man we elected. He's a lot closer to a traitor than a hero, and I totally agree with that. McCain, unsure and backing Senate GOP tax plan, says he hasn't seen it, and it uh, changes every hour. Everybody knows the tax plan can be the best, and McCain won't vote for it because Trump wants it. McCain, McCain's hatred of Trump trumps everything, pun intended. Yeah, USA Today reported this week that the Army lifted a ban on mental health waivers this summer and will allow people with histories of the uh, above mentioned. Well... An Army spokesman told USA that the accessibility of a more medical information allows Army officials to better document applica uh, applicant medical histories and evaluate the whole person. Well, just because they say they are opening it up doesn't mean they will let anyone in, an Army recruiter told Task and Purpose. The recruiter said the new policy was a piece with an effort to give, let recruiting commanders make some decisions about pro, uh, prospects. Well, you know, McCain is always a traitor and the people know, and they're, they, you know, he's gonna get some backlash for it because it's disgraceful the way, uh, you know, he continuously bashes anything uh, that Trump puts in front of, uh, in front of them you know it's just sickening let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching